you know, it it started off as something something funny, just something for us to laugh about, you know, a, a joke between friends, and it it turned into something scary, you know, out of control. I guess, for lack of a better word, it it was it was bananas. Can you, uh, can you take us back to exactly how all this started? Yeah, um, you know, I was putting up a projector for a professor in one of the buildings here at school, and Gabe was with me, and we were in the storage closet, and while I was putting it up, Gabe found this, this box of, like, props, I guess, and uh, there was this fake banana in it, and so Gabe took the banana, and he had it with him all day, and all day we made these these banana jokes, and Gabe would pull it out and act like it was a gun, and it was funny, you know? It was, it was really funny. And then the next day, he still had it with him. And it wasn't, there weren't any jokes, it wasn't funny, he just had it with him. And I guess I didn't really start getting worried until the third or fourth week of this. And... You know, he became he became protective of it. Like it's gotten to the point where if if the banana's somewhere in the room and and I need to to do it, I need to do something that requires me to move it. I can't touch it. I have to wait for him to come back so he can move the banana. Because if anybody else touches it, he just he loses it. You know, it's it's gotten scary. We're we're worried about him, and we're we're worried about you know what's going to happen if we don't do something about this. It's it's got to stop. All right, here we go. Gabriel? Hey. Hello, Gabriel. My name is Randall Fixor, and uh, your friends asked me to talk to you. Uh, is this... No, 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 and then I've called some people and they're going to come and we're going to get him some help. Okay, so we're asking him to give us the banana. Yes, that's what we're going to do. I, I'm going to let I you do it as he knows you. I don't think it's going to go well. Okay, here we go. Hey, Gabe. Keith. How you doing? It's pretty good. So, this is, this is my friend Dr. Fixar. I think you guys met. Why is he here? He's here to help you. We we just we want to help you, and all we want from you is we just we want you to give us the banana. Now, okay, 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 okay. No. Okay. No. Okay. Gabriel. Okay. Gabriel. Okay. Can't have my banana. It's my banana. You can't have it. Gabriel, we need you to calm down. Don't do anything you're going to regret. Just g give me the banana. You know, uh, he had the banana to my head, and everyone was just worried about his own safety, and then he pointed the banana at the doctor, and, you know, no one thought anything of it. No one would have guessed that day that, <laughs> that the banana would actually fire. Just g give me the banana. Just give me the banana. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. What? Where did you get it? Oh, wait. What are we. Get it. Oh god. Let's. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Okay. Uh, we need we need to call an ambulance. Oh god. Oh, what do we do? Okay. Um, You know, I mean, 
It's confusing. None of us understand how that happened. And, I mean, you know, we're worried about Gabe. We don't know where he is, and we hope he's okay, but... Yeah, I'm a little scared myself. I mean, if he did that to the doctor, he could do it to anybody else, including me, and he still has a key to our room. <laughs> You know, we just we just want to know where he is, and uh, we want to get him some help. I'm done.